tightrope walker, fashion designer, crossing guard. There are still jobs blind people can't do, but the list has been steadily shrinking thanks to trailblazers like Jim Hughes of Farmingdale, New York. Coming through, coming through. Jim's story began more than 20 years ago during a meeting with his college counselor. And I said, listen, I'm interested in teaching. And she goes, oh, that's, that's really nice. Which What's, blind school do you yeah, want to exactly, teach at? Exactly, exactly. No, I, I want to teach in a, in a public school. Public high school? She goes, no. It wasn't bad advice. Remember, we didn't have all this assistive technology back then. And there weren't the laws mandating employers give people with disabilities a fair okay, shot. What do you mean? Still, Jim sent out about 100 resumes. I'll be honest and say this is the only real interview I got. I came across that resume, and as I said, it took me by shock. How can a blind teacher possibly function in a classroom? Steve Cusin was principal at the time. And boy, am I glad that I took a second look at that resume, because it's made all the difference in the world to generations of students. Has anyone seen images of soldiers coming home from Vietnam? By all accounts, right. this history teacher has become one of the best teachers at Farmingdale High School. It doesn't affect his teaching at all. And not in spite of his blindness. It almost helps him. But because of it. He became so good at verbalizing the information to the students. In fact, the kids say it's their other teachers who can't always see. They're blinded with the PowerPoints and the handouts and all that. Every teacher should try uh, a day with a blindfold and really learn how to talk to your students. Right. The other thing he's surprisingly good at is keeping them honest. There's no cheating whatsoever. What? He's too respected. You respect him too much. There'll be that rare kid, but they're shamed instantly. Yeah. You don't want to be that guy. See if you could find the thematic essays. The class may be history. But these kids are getting their doctorates in integrity. You know what? I think I put them right on top of here. That's what happened. And Jim Hughes is getting all he ever wanted, a chance to make a difference. The classroom is where I belong. I think I really believe that. Pretty easy to see. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Farmingdale, New York.